do. Okay. Um, let's get started then. Sorry it took me so long to work out the technology. The plan today is, um, last week we did uh, those CBT role plays. I don't know if you were here, Mark. Okay. Um, what I was thinking we could do today is go through some of the basics of CBT again and then do those role plays because a lot of people are making uh, comments that they prefer to do more role plays, more yeah. practice for the prax. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I think uh, it might be worthwhile to spend half the time, half the time on a presentation, the other half on role plays. Yeah. Focusing on, a, on CBT techniques and um, analysing clients according to CBT. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got to give credit where credit's due. This um, PowerPoint is of mine. Um, it's one that I obtained from the University of Mexico Hospital's website. <coughs> Actually, I didn't. When I did a class in my Masters on CBT, they gave us this PowerPoint. And I found it again because I thought it was very useful. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, it's not mine, and I have I've cut things out of it because it was a rather long. Well, 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 you've made it yours now. Yeah. All right. So I've I've um, I've referenced it on your handouts, yeah. and we are recording for this to go on the on YouTube and on the website. Mm -hmm. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Okay, let's go through some basics. Some of this you've probably covered before, definitely the presentations and probably as part of these We're going to review the basic concepts of cognitive therapy. We're going to discuss clinical applications of cognitive therapy as it relates to the patient population seen in behavioural health. Homework. Sorry. Not homework for you guys. <laughs> homework is a big part of CBT. Uh, we're going to look at populations, basic tools of CBT and treatment plans. Uh, if we get to all of that, I may skip a lot of it in order for us to do the role plays because I think that's the most important part of the presentation. Why don't we, um, one more time, we did this last time but it's worthwhile doing it again, why don't we brainstorm people's understanding of CBT and how it works. What is CBT? Cognitive cognitive behaviour therapy. Okay. Cognitive behaviour therapy. Now if you were trying to um, <coughs> explain this to somebody who'd never heard of it before, what would you say? Um, it's trying to get um, the feelings and thoughts out of the client to the best way you can to, to help them. Isn't okay. Something like that. Yeah, I think you've made a good point there. It's very thick. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit of it. Thoughts. Just a little dark. Feelings. Yeah. Sorry. And feelings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll remember it next time. Look for you if I do it again. <laughs> to assist clients with mental health. Feelings, Anyone? thoughts, and behaviours. Behaviours. Okay, so you're, you're attempting to analyse the client according to these things and help them according to these things. The big thing about CBT is? Oh, I was going to say, um, it's to show whether their thinking is rational or irrational. Yep. Okay, good. Are these thoughts, are these thinking um, processes rational or irrational? Chances are, if you're applying CBT with a client and you feel they benefit from it, you've probably identified them as having irrational thoughts or maladaptive uh, thought processes. So we try to help the client move from irrational thinking to rational thinking in their attempts to um, overcome challenges in their life. Mm -hmm. Common thinking. issues. Common issues? Yep. What do you mean by that? Oh, well, it's to do with they have like common issues in their life, but they learn that when they're having maladaptive thinking, they're learning the reactions of those bad behaviours. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, so consistently throughout a person's life, they might be applying irrational thinking or um, um, irrational behaviour in response to those similar situations and circumstances uh, throughout their life. There's a, there's a patterns, behaviour patterns and um, a thought patterns. Good. 
Mm. So it's bringing about change, mm -hmm. and that change can be a reinforced change. Mm. I'm just trying to think of the opposite. Um, the, other, the other point is that um, you want to change them from the irrational thinking of the um, beliefs and value, core beliefs and value system. Good, good. So they do have core beliefs that you may be attempting to modify. We'll get to that in a tip. The thing about the thoughts, feelings and behaviours that I think is worthwhile pointing out is that they're all interconnected. Yes. So, in other There's words, also emotions in that as well. Sorry? Emotions. Okay, emotions yeah, probably. probably covered by feelings, but you're right. Thoughts, behaviour, feelings, and all emotions. of them are interconnected. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. way people so respond to situations and personal issues um, are defined by these things. Mm. And it may be a case that the cognitive behaviour therapist has to uh, work with the client on all of these aspects or would choose to focus on one above the other. Tell you what, I'm going to stop recording this thing because